guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing a full blown face and hair spa routine with y'all. If you're new to my channel and you've never visited here before or you always watch my videos and you've not subscribed already, then please make sure that you click on that big red subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. For today's video, I have gone all out. It's a full blown pamper session for your skin and your hair and you're gonna feel super great after doing this. It's completely made from ingredients which are available in your kitchen. I tried to minimize the use of products and try to DIY as much as possible because we are running out of our skincare and hair care and there is no way to acquire anything. And after doing this entire routine, my skin feels great, my hair feels great, I feel super pampered. So if you're interested to know what is it that I've done exactly and which ingredients I have used then please keep on watching okay we'll start by oiling our hair I'm using the Indulekha hair oil I had oiled my hair one night prior so it has been really sitting on my hair since one whole night so I'm just going to massage it into my scalp and just give my scalp a nice reboost and then tie my hair up in a bun and leave it for some time you can apply hair oil for 1 hour or 45 minutes before the hair spa or you can keep it overnight whatever you prefer doing Next, while the hair oil is sitting on your hair, you can start with your facial. So the first step for the facial is going to be to exfoliate your skin. So here I'm using an exfoliator that I made out of oats and honey. Oats is a really good cleansing agent. It has anti-inflammatory properties and honey has antibacterial and antioxidant properties. So it's great for acne prone sensitive skin. If you feel that oats is very coarse for your skin and you have active acne that might burst because of the oats particles, then you can use something as gentle as just a tomato pulp and like apply it to your face or you can use coffee instead of the oats so mix coffee with honey or use just tomato by itself so these are the two alternatives for somebody who has ultra sensitive skin use this on your lips as well your lips also have dead skin and they can get very chappy so it will condition your lips as well don't forget your neck we often tend to forget our neck make sure that while you're exfoliating you're really massaging the scrub into your skin properly getting rid of all the dead skin and then let it sit for a good 15 to 20 minutes and then you can take a wet cloth and simply wipe this mask off your face and then you will see what a beautiful glow your skin has now all the dead skin are gone and all your pores are nice and clean for the next step of the facial as well as the hair spa you need to take a nice steam if you have a facial steamer you can use that as well but I really like the old school method of taking hot boiling water in a tapeli and putting towel over your head and letting the steam really soak into your face ideally you should take steam for about 10 minutes but I honestly can't take the steam for that long so I just take it for 5 minutes and even after that my skin turns really red and all my pores have opened up like you can see and the next step that I have done for the hair spa is take a cotton dupatta and dunk it into this boiling water which is of course very hot so be careful of your hands and then carefully put it on my scalp so that all the hair follicles on my scalp will open up and really get a chance to breathe and all that oil can be really well absorbed into my hair so the way I'm wrapping my hair in the video you can do that too just wrap your hair in the dupatta and then tie it up and leave it as is so while your hair is taken care of and you've just taken steam so all your pores are open the next is the most painful step of the facial and that is to get rid of your blackheads. This is honestly a step that brings tears to my eyes. It is very painful but you've got to do it at least once in 15 days if you really want to get rid of your whiteheads and blackheads. If you have such a kind of a remover that's probably the only way to do it or you could use a clay mask if you have a clay mask at home. You just have to carefully press it down in the areas that you have blackheads and whiteheads like I'm doing in the video. Whiteheads are not that stubborn and they come out more easily as compared to the blackheads. The blackheads are the stubborn ones that you really have to press down on and make sure that you're like scooping it out of your nose and it's really really painful honestly I cry every time I do this but if you want nice clear skin this is the price you gotta pay for that. Once you're done clearing your nose of all the blackheads, take off the dupatta, it's already done its job now and take some ice and ice your nose nicely, you don't want to keep it inflamed because you have done a lot of skin damage when you are removing those blackheads and whiteheads. You've been very harsh with your skin so you need your skin to calm down and the whole point of this is that you took steam, your pores opened up 
and then you could nicely easily remove your blackheads and whiteheads and then you're icing your skin to minimize the pores once again and increase the blood supply so that your skin can nicely breathe now that it's free of all the blackheads and whiteheads all right so after doing this i quickly went ahead and washed my hair if you want to know what are the products i use on my hair you can watch my hair care routine i just did one round of shampoo because i'm going to go ahead with a hair mask now so i'm taking a middle partition of my hair and i'm using this hair mask so for this hair mask i have mashed half a banana 1 teaspoon of olive oil 1 teaspoon of amla juice mix it all together and now i'm going to take this hair mask and apply it to my roots segment by segment i'm going to partition my hair uh, and then make sure that it's entirely coated with this hair mask Once I'm done coating my scalp, I'll make sure that I'm also coating the ends of my hair so that they also really nicely get conditioned and then I'm just going to tie my hair up in a bun with a clip. So while this hair mask does its job, I'm just going to go ahead and shave my face. I'm using one of these razors that you get very easily on Amazon or Nike or even at your local beauty stores. I've been doing it since forever now and there is absolutely no problem in doing that. I've given you a close up of how you can get rid of all that peachy fuzz. You can get rid of your upper lip hair as well with this. Just have to hold the razor at an angle. There is no rocket science to this. Don't hold it perpendicular to your skin because you will end up cutting yourself and don't hold it very much oblique that you're not going to shave anything. Hold it at a 45 degree angle to your skin so that you're properly getting rid of all the hair. Also wanted to mention that all the people that keep asking me how you have such clear skin and how you don't have acne pits anymore and where are your acne scars you can see a very very close up of my skin in this video and you can see that all my acne pits are still there my chicken pox scars are still there my acne scars are still there yes the hyperpigmentation of the scarring is gone because i have a very very dedicated skincare routine which i follow religiously every day which is something that i always advise everyone but apart from that the pits are still there and i don't think there is any cure for the acne pits you need to learn to love your skin and live in it okay so once i'm done shaving my entire face i also go ahead and do my brows very carefully around my brow area and get rid of any excess brow hair or like you know stray away or anything that's in the middle of both the brows so just clear that section out and just to shape my brow even more i'm going to take a spoolie comb all the hair upward and take a small scissor and just going to cut all the extra brow hair length that is there so that's the best brows i can do at home in this quarantine so that's what i've done So after I'm done shaving my face I'm moving on to face masking for face mask I'm using multani mitti and rose water I have the brick of multani mitti if you have the powder that will work as well just take a little bit dilute it with rose water and apply it to your skin multani mitti works really well once again with acne acne scars and also brightens your complexion in general and rose water is really good to calm down the inflammation of your skin So with your fingers or if you have a masking brush then you can use that as well and just apply an even layer on your skin. Once you're done with that you can keep it for 15 to 20 minutes and the mask will set completely dry and after that you can wash off your hair mask as well as your face mask. Then I just took a nice hot water bath and my hair felt so good and my skin was just glowing. I felt so pampered after doing this. You genuinely need to try it. So just to finish off with the facial I'm going to apply a little bit of aloe vera gel. Here I'm using the Face Shop Jeju aloe vera gel just to calm down all the inflammation and also moisturize the skin really well. If you have the aloe vera plant at home of course you can use that. Applying some lip balm using the Maybelline Baby Lips lip balm. 
and then just to finish off my hair care I'm using the Matrix Biolage Avocado Smooth Proof Serum and I'm going to apply it to the ends of my hair just to the ends to just make sure that I'm getting rid of any excess frizz Alright, so this completes my entire face and hair spa at home using ingredients which are available in your kitchen. If they are not, you can feel free to replace ingredients with whatever you have right now at home. My skin feels great, my hair feels great, everything was so congested and I feel like I've just opened up so many pores for my skin and hair to breathe right now. So I highly recommend that you all try all of these steps out and pamper yourself and go all out. And if you do try any of this, then don't forget to tag me on Instagram. My handle is right here, also in the description section. This was all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell icon right next to it. And I will see you in another video. Bye guys. Love you all.